Annie Hutchings here from Capsule Closet Girl. Welcome back to my channel and I've got a really fun hair tutorial for you today on how to do this faux braided crown. There's a few things you'll need. A comb. I love a rat tail comb but any comb will work. Some elastics, either clear or matching your hair. Bobby pins. And some hairspray. Whatever your favorite kind is. In this hairstyle, I'm just showing you where, where each section of hair is going to lay. So anything from your ears forward needs to come forward in this hairstyle and anything from the crown back needs to go back in this hairstyle. So I'm gonna start sectioning off some little sections here to create some small ponytails. That's why I like the rat tail comb because it allows me the ability to kind of part it off a little more easily. And you know what? I actually forgot something. You really need a clip for this hairstyle, so grab a clip. It's an important tool here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my sectioning here and I'm going to create little ponytails. And I want it to be about one to two inches um, away from the front of my face. I don't want it to be right at the very, very, like right by my forehead. So a few inches back, maximum two inches back, tie a little ponytail off. I'm going to move on to the next section now and I'm gonna do the exact same thing coming forward here. These sections are a little bit big. Um, if you did about half of this, it would be easier. I just like things to get done quickly. I'm a little bit lazy like that, so I make my sections bigger just for the time's sake. But like I said, if you want it to be a little easier, make your sections about half that size. So you'll have twice as many ponytails at the end here. I'm gonna continue creating ponytails all the way around my head. In the back sections, make sure that you're putting your ponytail about an inch or two away from the nape, away from the neck, and tie it off. That's the last section there. And now I've got a head full of ponytails, baby. Okay, so here is where you need to pay attention. Take your first section, it can be any ponytail that you want, and you're going to split it into two pieces. Take the ponytail right next to it, pull it through those two pieces and clip it off. And now you're gonna take those sections from your first ponytail and you're going to add them to your third ponytail. And you're just gonna use another elastic to add them into that third ponytail. Make it nice and tight while you're tying the elastic. And then once the elastic is tied, you'll actually pull on those two sections to make it a little bit looser. That's what's gonna give it a really nice, big braided appearance. And you'll notice that as we continue. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of hairspray. I use quite a bit of hairspray in this hairstyle just cause you'll get little flyaways and things like that. Okay, so now we're gonna let that section go and we're gonna split the second ponytail into two sections. We're gonna do the exact same thing we just did with the first section. So split it into two sections, grab that third ponytail, pull it between them and clip it off. Now take those two sections and you're going to add them to that fourth ponytail or the next ponytail. Like I said, just use another elastic and just attach it to that ponytail. Make it nice and tight and then pull those sections to make them a little bit looser to give it that nice braided look. Once you've done that, you're gonna continue this all the way around your head. Split it into two, pull the ponytail through, attach it to the next ponytail and so on and so on. Like I said, I like to use a lot of hairspray in this hairstyle and every once in a while, you'll notice that you just have like little flyaways or a random piece of hair that you missed. Just grab a bobby pin and just tuck it in there, hide it. This is not a precise hairstyle. This is supposed to be kind of a messy, loose updo. So don't stress out about it looking perfect. That's not the point here. Another thing I wanted to mention to you, um, normally I would not start 
with a ponytail in the front of my head. Usually I would start at a ponytail in the back of my head or behind my ear. I started with a ponytail in the front of my head so that you could see clearly what I was doing with the ponytail. But normally I would start at the back of my head because it would make it easier to finish this braid. And you'll see what I mean in just a minute. But um, yeah, normally I would start with one of the behind the ear or one of the back ponytails. So I've just continued splitting my ponytail, putting it through, and you'll see there's a lot of like little sticky out pieces as we get to the end because there's shorter pieces of hair. I'm getting to the end of some of my ponytails so they start to stick out a little bit. Don't worry about that. We'll go through and we'll clean it up at the end there. Once you're done with your last section, you're gonna go ahead and take all the hair that's left and I'm gonna spray it with some hairspray just to help with any flyaways and braid it, just a regular braid. You'll notice as I braid it here that um, I actually will take an elastic and tie it off about halfway through the braid and that's because there's some really short pieces in there and I didn't want those short pieces to be sticking way up and so I'll tie it off and then I'll keep braiding after I've tied it off. I'll braid the rest. Once that's all braided, I'm going to actually set it behind those first sections and start pinning it. Now you wanna pin against the grain. So if I'm pulling the hair from my right side to my left side, I'm going to push the bobby pin in from the left to the right. That will hide the bobby pin, first of all, and second of all, it's a much more secure way to put a bobby pin into your hair. So I'm just, I pinned it all in there, and then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start pulling this braid apart, making it loose so it kind of matches those first sections that I did. I'm gonna pull on it a little bit. Now I'm gonna start working on these little loose hairs and these little sections that are kind of sticking up here. Bobby pins, like I said, there's no perfectionism when it comes to this hairstyle, just pin it, hide it, and do your best here and use hairspray if you need to. And then pull the braids apart as much as you want to, as much as you need to. That's what I personally think gives it the best look. And there's a little section here that just doesn't want to lay flat. I love, love, love this hairstyle with a big pair of earrings. I think it just completes it perfectly. And then I'm actually, there's that little piece of hair is still driving me crazy. So I'm going to go through and add a couple more bobby pins here. And that is pretty much it. It truly is that simple. Please like, share, comment below, and subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, go give me a follow over on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you all next Tuesday.